Hi, Zohar. Uh, how are you? Very well. How are you? I'm doing great. Welcome to Everyone is Unique. Thank you. So I would love to hear about India. So um, uh, where, uh, where in India are you from? So I belong to a city called Calcutta. Oh, Calcutta. It, it, is, it is in the eastern part of the country. Mm -hmm. It also happens to be the eastern capital of the country. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so uh, tell me more. What is it special about Calcutta? Uh, what is unique about Calcutta? Uh, I think uh, we also happen to be the cultural capital wow. because a lot of a lot of history and a lot of literature of our Indian literature has come from my city. Mm -hmm. We had these renowned laureates who wrote such wonderful literature. So that's why Calcutta is also considered as the cultural capital of our city, wow. of our country rather. Mm -hmm. And in fact, the national anthem also that we have was written by somebody who is uh, Calcutta born. And he's also a Nobel laureate. Oh, cool. Interesting. So uh, what is the souvenir of Calcutta? Uh, I think the sweets. I think the sweets and the people are, of Calcutta are very sweet people. And that's precisely why the, the sweets are very, very famous. Mm -hmm. There's a particular dish which is called the Sandesh. Mm -hmm. it's, actually, it's actually very, very popular in this part of the country. And in fact, people who travel across the country and if anybody's traveling from or to my city, the only thing that they want to have from my city is like a sandesh, even though it's available uh, in some parts of the other cities as well, but it's not as good. Oh, okay. So, so we have like a variety of sweet dishes and people just really love it. Mm -hmm. So you can find the best sandesh in only Kolkata. Absolutely. Okay. So tell me about the monuments because you have the... Uh, a culture of uh, British, I mean, like a mixture of British and Indian culture, uh, so our city, history of it, basically, right? So our, our city served as the British capital for a very, very long time mm -hmm. while they were ruling our country. So during that time, they had built a lot of uh, infrastructure, like you would say at that time, for their own purpose, which now obviously belongs to us. And we have now taken them over in terms of maybe government buildings or it could be heritage properties, it could be museums. Uh, so Calcutta boasts of having the largest museum in the in the country. Mm. Uh, as well as as well as the Victoria Memorial is a very, very popular uh, monument that is uh, that people come to see. Okay. Should be a very beautiful city. Um so what is your favorite thing about your city? Why do you love your city? I think uh, one thing that keeps the city, or rather makes the city different from the others, is the is the lifestyle. I uh -huh. think the people here are much more social, much more connected, and I think there's a huge amount of work-life balance that we find in this part of the country. Because there are two ways of looking at it. One could say that you guys are lazy, you guys don't work as much, maybe. But then I look at the positive side, and I think that we work enough and we party harder. Okay, so uh, is this stereotype about India true that like it's a reflection of Bollywood movies? Do people love dancing or um, enjoying themselves? See, our country is about uh, diversity and all of us in our country love celebrations. All right. and since we have such a diverse culture, the celebrations happen to be diverse as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely dance is a big part of our celebration. But what you actually see in Bollywood movies uh, is a bit exaggerated. It might not be as big as you see it in the movies. Mm -hmm. But yes, ultimately, these movies are inspired by our daily lives. So we do have that kind of celebration uh, every now and then. Uh, it's just that uh, the movies portray it in a way which makes it seem much more grandier. Mm -hmm. Not like it doesn't happen. In some part of the country, it does happen. Mm -hmm. But uh, yes, it's, we are a city of celebrations and there's a lot of things happening across the country around the year. Oh, beautiful. And um, can you introduce a famous Indian food? A famous Indian food? I think uh, there are lots of stuff which is famous across the world. But I think one thing which catches the eye of every individual, be it inside the country or outside, is... Uh, it's like a it's like a pastry filled with potatoes. It's called a samosa. 
<laughs> so I think it's world famous. I think mm -hmm. even very recently, even the Australian Prime Minister, while having it, actually tweeted the picture to our Prime Minister saying that we're enjoying an Indian delicacy. So this is something which has caught, caught the eye of a lot of people. But mm -hmm. then there's a lot of much, much more uh, sumptuous food that you can have probably when you visit our country. Cool. And, and does Calcutta have a local food? Like a local yes. Food? Uh, See, the Calcutta is on the, is on the banks of the river. So there's a lot of fish that is available in this part of the country. So, and even like I said, the people who live in Calcutta, the predominant culture is that of Bengalis. Mm -hmm. So they love to have their rice and their fish. So there's a lot of variety of fish that is made here, which is quite popular. Cool. All right. So do you want to add something more about India that you would love people to know about your country or about your city? Something that they might not know, but you would like them to know? I don't know what they don't know. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's a good answer. All right, so I loved learning about India and learning about your city. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Zohar. It was a pleasure talking to you. Oh, the pleasure is all mine. Uh, have a great day. You too. Thank you. And thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Bye bye.